What's good, everyone? I'm back for another one. Y'all know what the deal is. If y'all know who I am, I'm Mark. That means you're new. Go check out the other videos, of course. All right, so today's video topic is going to be the firearms I believe, or at least the types of firearms I believe you would need for an SHTF situation. Now, I'm sure you're sitting here wondering, well, what does SHTF mean? All right, I've said it a lot on this channel. You know what I mean? I have even said what it means on here, but if y'all don't know, SHTF, shit hit the fan. All right? This is whatever you want to say, a zombie outbreak, you know, um, whatever you want to say. The government's trying to, you know, take over. Whatever you want to, you know, SHTF though. This is a huge deal which you do need to be prepared for, right? <clears throat> so, I got a few, uh, m more than a few, a good at least handful of firearms, in my opinion, you should have for an SHTF situation, all right? Now, I will say, not all of these are requirements, all right? I'll, I will be honest, one of these, actually, I can think of off the top of my head that I remembered, one of these, all right? <clears throat> and yes, if y'all are sitting there wondering, I do not have a list with any of it written out. I just, I kind of have, you know, a little, I know what I'm, I know which ones I'm thinking of. I'm just not going to sit there and list them all off immediately. But the first one I'm thinking of, I'm not going to do it first, obviously, but the one I'm thinking of right now, yeah, it's definitely not a, uh, it's not an objective one. It definitely is something that, you know, it is debatable. All right. It's not something you need, but it is something you should have if you can. All right. <clears throat> but first things first, you do need at least at least a compact nine millimeter pistol a quality one at that all right preferably one from makers that have a lot of aftermarket parts now here's why for example let's take actually the most popular handgun in the world the glock 19. it is by far currently the most popular handgun it is all right it is what most people when they're buying their first gun buy but We'll take the Glock 19, all right? Has a lot of aftermarket parts. So let's say SHTF happens, all right? It has a 15 round capacity, which is a solid capacity. It takes nine millimeter ammo, which is extremely common, all right? It's extremely common. Uh, <clears throat> it's actually the most popular handgun caliber in the world now that I'm thinking about it. So you see what I mean? It's, it's not gonna be hard for you to find ammo if you run out. Uh, it's not going to be hard for you. It's, well, it might be harder than ammo per, per se, but, you know, it's not going to be as hard for you to find uh, another part if you need it. <clears throat> and it's something you know that's going to be reliable, all right? So that that is first things first. That is first things first that I do believe you need for an SHTF situation <sighs> is a... Um, at least compact size at the smallest compact all right double stack actually you know what? i'm gonna add that in there double stack all right nine millimeter pistol once again preferably from a uh well-known brand in the sense that a lot of it was made you know a lot of them were made all right <clears throat> so that's first things first and that isn't going to be your primary weapon, by the way, in an SHTF situation. All right. Next, you are going to want something along the lines of an AR-15 or an AK-47. Here is why I say that. All right. The calibers, they shoot. They definitely have the stopping power. All right. They're very easy calibers to shoot. They're very easy guns to shoot at that. All right. <clears throat> Next, uh, one of the best things, all right, is that, and you can sit here and argue, oh yeah, well if you have a, you know, classic wood furniture AK, you won't be able to do this. Yeah, sure, but there are also more modern, you know what, let me, okay, let me clarify what I mean then when I say AK-47s. I guess, technically, yes, you could sit there and just duct tape, you know, a flashlight to your AK, ghetto it out, you know what I mean? But, they do have more modern AKs with rails on them that you can get a light for. But, so, let me get back to what I was saying, though. As I mentioned before, the calibers have some solid stopping power. Uh, they don't have a lot of recoil to them. All right. <clears throat> the firearms are overall easy to shoot. They're very easy to operate. 
and they're pretty reliable, all right? <clears throat> now, let's think about it like this. AR-15, for example, is the most popular rifle in America. That is just the truth. It is the most popular rifle in America. The AK-47 is probably the most popular rifle anywhere else in the world, all right? And it's actually a debate between a lot of people in the gun community, as I'm sure most of y'all know, all right, between AR-15 and AK-47, you know, which is better, you know. Uh, now, something I will say that if you're like, oh, yeah, well, I don't like ARs, I like AKs better, this will be a plus for you, all right? The AK-47 is the most produced firearm in the world. It, you know what I mean? It doesn't get much better for needing parts than that, you know what I mean? However, currently with our laws, you know, and the Russian import ban and all that shit, it's not looking too great for us AK guys. All right, I will say that. That is just the truth of the matter. But my entire point, though, is that you're going to need something that the calibers are going to be pretty common. You know, 223, 556, five, all right? Those are going to be pretty common, uh, you know, rifle calibers, 762 by 39, of course. Don't think I forgot about. Y you think I'm going to forget about the cali uh, excuse me, caliber that's synonymous with the AK-47? You're disrespecting me. Come on now. All right. My entire point, though, I'm getting at is that that's not going to be hard ammo for you to find as far as intermediate cartridge rifle ammo. It's just the truth of the matter. All right. Not going to be hard at all. Now, one thing I will say, and I know y'all are going to sit here and be like, well, you just made a video, you know, shitting on 22LR for self-defense. Well, if you notice, in that video, in that very video, I said for an SHTF situation, a 22LR firearm is actually a good thing. Not for, like, defending yourself against, you know, animals or other, you know, or other humans or something along those lines, right? But for hunting, you know what I mean? It, it, it's a small bullet. It's something that you can hunt squirrels, rabbits, you know, along. See what I mean? It, it is useful in that situation. Very useful. All right. <clears throat> so, and another thing, too, if you think about it, all right. If SHTF happens, all right, all the all the rules are out the window. You know what I mean? You can put you can put a suppressor on there, and bam, you know. Now, <clears throat> if what I'm saying mass lawlessness is what's happening, is you see what I mean? Not like I mean the entire every everything is hit the fan. Everything, all right. Not just you know. Oh yeah, something I didn't like happened, so forget about that. No. Let me just clarify, I'm not advocating for y'all sitting there and just freaking out over something that you're not the biggest fans of. Alright, if shit really hit the fan, alright. Now, another thing, you are going to want probably... I got two good rifles in mind that I could think of, you know what I mean, that are... Uh, and these are just not... I'm not saying these are the only two. I'm just saying these are the two that just came to my head immediately when I was trying, you know, when I thought of the 762 by 51 caliber or 308. Uh, <clears throat> you can sit there and get a Scar H, all right? And then you can sit, or you could sit there and get an AR-10, all right? Now, the main reason why I say that is they can, uh, they get a much further distance than, you know, any of the other calibers I've mentioned before, 223, 556, 762 by 39, uh, excuse me, 762 by 39, but 308 has much further of a reach than all of that. You know what I mean? That's, that is just the truth of the matter. So, and as mentioned, it's, it definitely will pack more of a punch than both of those, you know, or all three of them. So, you, you will want something along those lines that can reach much further out just in case you're trying to prevent something from taking place like let's be honest you're in an shtf situation you know you're probably going to band up with some people and then you might meet a group of people that y'all don't like and they you know they may try to break out like a little war with you guys you know what i mean that's just how something like that would happen that is the truth of the matter all right next next so let me just go over the ones i've gone over with y'all real quick a at least compact size double stack nine millimeter uh, preferably from you know a more known brand 
intermediate cartridge size rifle, preferably AR-15 or AK-47. Twenty-two L uh, caliber firearm, whichever one you choose, just for hunting purposes, really. Uh, 308 caliber rifle, as I mentioned before, AR-10 or, <clears throat> excuse me, out of Scar H. There was another one I had in mind. Let me think here. What was it? Oh, a uh, shotgun. I right, you want a pump shotgun. That's just truth in the matter. Now, I have six, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can make sure my math is correct, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh... I would prefer you get a pump shotgun as well. Here's why. Stopping power of them bitches is, whoo, we all know that. All right, we all know that. All right. And not to mention, you can sit there and get slugs with it. You can get double lot buck. Hell, even if you don't want to use it to, you know, defend yourself or something, try to hunt with it a little bit. Some bird shot, you know what I mean? Things like that, you know what I mean? That's, it, it would definitely be helpful. It wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be a liability to have a pump shotgun as well. It definitely wouldn't be. You know what I mean? That, that simply is just the truth of the matter. <clears throat> uh, now, the next one, and this is the one that I mentioned before, is very debatable. All right, it is. You can argue this with me all you like to. It is debatable. All right. A pocket pistol or a deep concealment or simply as a backup I'm all for having a backup gun all right so as I said this one is debatable it's not you know oh yeah you need to do this no it's something that if you don't have one and shit it's a fan it's not the biggest deal in the world you're not gonna you know cry yourself to sleep at night I mean you might but not because of that <laughs> you see what I mean so uh, you, just having a backup would always be helpful. You know what I mean? It always can be helpful. Uh, now, for example, let's say shit hit the fan and, you know, my backup gun, you know, my just in case all, I'm all out of ammo, all my guns are used up, everything. It doesn't work anymore. I'm, yeah, I'm going to be upset at that moment if I get out of it, you know, out of the situation or I'm able to get some more, whatever, you know what I mean? But... <laughs> Overall, that gun isn't my main defense weapon for shit hits the fan. As I mentioned before, your your first weapon for shit hits the fan always needs to be that intermediate cartridge rifle, preferably an AR-15 or an AK-47. All right, just the truth of the matter. <clears throat> Second would be your double stack nine millimeter pistol. Uh, if you're trying to go for a distance. That 308 caliber rifle, preferably uh, a Scar H or an AR-10. You know, uh, next, your pump shotgun. <laughs> if you're, you know, definitely in close quarters, shotguns are effective. Yeah, they can be. Especially if you got a good capacity in your tube, you know. <clears throat> then last but not least, if we're not counting, you know, your pocket pistol, the 22 LR. And then your pocket pistol, if we are counting it. You see what I mean? Is the furthest on the end. It's not something you need to have, but if you want to, I, I believe it couldn't hurt. All right. Now, if y'all have any uh, comments about this video, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and comment down below. If y'all have any suggestions for what I should do for the next video, go ahead and let me know below, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, other than that, of course, make sure to go ahead and check out Adam's channel. Make sure to check out the podcast channel. You already know what the deal is there. All right. Other than that, something I haven't said yet in this video, y'all probably been waiting for this. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that bell. When you hit that bell, go ahead and hit all. All right. You, you sat there. You watched this whole video. All right. You're a G. You're a real one. All right. You're hitting all at this point. Go go sit there and check out the podcast channel and Adam's channel. That's just rude if you don't. You know what I mean? Y'all stay safe. Stay legal. Stay dangerous. Have a good one. Peace.